What is that, burgers, Winter? Mm -hmm. Patties. Okay, a bit of it was burnt. Okay. Yeah, but. Really? Thanks, baby. Yeah. Or the part that we threw out? Okay, yeah, so. Well, some of it was like burnt, burnt. It was like five eighths of it wasn't, so. Five eighths? We ate a lot of it. Okay. It was like black. No, we good. Wow. <laughs> oh, then what is that? <laughs> I don't know if you look well, if you're just sucking on it. Wait, okay, well. Wah. Well, shit. Well, that's been some dirty places. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh. Even Bray's butt getting a little worse. Ah, that's humiliating. You're losing your juice, baby. Huh? Losing your juice. I know. <laughs> a nightmare for me. I'll cry about it later, don't worry. I know. I just want to snack on these. I don't know. That would be ideal. <sighs> Enjoy what he has. I think he's still in the jar. On it, or it's hot. I have no idea. <laughs> Pat man, it's literally. Mm. Where are we sitting? <laughs> Purple couch. That's new. The ball pit is now open. <laughs> Maybe they're hiding our veto in there. Think so? Probably. <clears throat> Filthy. You're right. So satisfying. <laughs> I was mad at you this morning. What? I can't believe you thought I was mad at you this morning. 
Oh, are you in there? Yeah, I know. Why didn't you just ask me? Oh, I didn't think you were like mad at me, but like like enough to like come and like ask you if you're mad at me. Oh. I thought just when I was in there, you were. Up there? No, I was just in there. Oh. Like when I came in. I think you were mad. I just thought you were upset about the situation or something. I don't know. Oh, no, no. Thinking. Mm hmm. I'm never really mad at you. Hmm. Me neither. So, yeah, you were? What? What did you say? I said me neither. Oh. <laughs> Just the one night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Girl was wasted. I wasn't. And they were immediately better. I don't know. Was it the first time we went in the shower? Or was that the next night? Or was that night the first time we did it? That was the first time. Holy shit. See what I mean? What a bounce back. <laughs> that because I got upset. No, but I think you were you were drunk a little bit. Oh. Yeah. But next day I explain it to Kim. It's hilarious hearing them. It's hilarious. The fact that they're just right there. Right there. Yeah, I know. It's so funny. I didn't know you were so nervous on day one until oh. you said that yesterday. Really? Yeah, I really was. Do you usually get like that? Yeah. For things? Um, not like, no, not like that. This was a, like, this was just like, it was so fast. Like you said, like there was no time. Like I went from the fucking thing way to the line, like, you know what I mean? Like there's no time and I was just like, holy, like this is really happening. Mm-hmm. And I didn't really know, like I didn't really like, so then we were just dropped in here. Yeah, I just didn't know how to behave like right away, you know what I mean? I was just like, holy, like I didn't know what, like, I didn't know like the setup, like I didn't know what was going on, I didn't know if the everything was on, like the cameras were on, I didn't know what was going on. And yeah, we weren't really explained much. Exactly, so I was just like, what do I do right now? Like, I'm like, yeah, I was like, I was definitely excited, but I was also just, I had this like weird, like underlying nervousness and like anxiousness that I just couldn't shake and I was trying to shake it. And then the calm came and he felt a little bit better? Yeah, I shook it. it like, but even then, like, I, I felt it. Like, I still felt it. It wasn't until, like, the night, like, bedtime, where it was, like, pretty good. But right? all the way through, like, the comp, and then afterwards, like, we lost, and I was like, now I'm shook, like, because I'm on the block. So I was just like, holy shit, my, like, I was just stressed. Aw, like, knowing you now, that makes me so sad. No. It was stressful for sure. But yeah, I just remember, like, Meeting all you guys, like, I was just like so antsy. Like, I was just like, and then, like even pouring. I was just scared to pour the champagne because I was scared I was gonna like pour it out. Like, Did you miss. pour it? Yeah, I, miss, I poured it for everyone. Did you pop it? Yeah. What? what you else? did. Yeah. I was like, should we just get the champagne on or what? Like I was just like I didn't know what to do with my hands. I was like, let's just go. Like let's do something. And then people were like holding their glasses out freehand. So I was like scared to like you know because I was like I was like shook it. I feel like your hair was completely different or something. Like, I just feel like you weren't this Jed. I had like no beard. Maybe that's what I it was. I all the way down. Not, not bare. Not, well it was like very close. Maybe that's why I was like, he's so cute. Yeah. Like I thought you were so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was shaved all the way down, like just to like my first, like the little stubble. And then my hair was like, like I had gotten a cut. Like, wasn't it looser or something? Well, I had gotten a cut, like, when I got, like, before I went to the, before this. Like, I got a cut, like, low. So I knew, because I knew by the time I left, like, it would have to grow in, and I wouldn't be able to get another cut. 
So then it grew in, and then I, all I could do was like line it up pretty much because I don't know how to cut my own hair. So I just like lined it up everywhere. Let's see, do your hat off. Oh, you just like don't. I, my memory was is seeing you differently. Really? But I think it's the beard thing. I think you just cleared it up. Yeah, it would have been. It would have been. I look way different when I shave it all the way down compared to when I have it like this. Even like this. It's not even that long right now. I just trimmed it. On Thursday? Yeah. <clears throat> it's perfect length. Mm -hmm. This is where you like it? Uh, yeah, I usually have it around here. Sometimes I'll just like, if I get like a really, really fresh, like bald fade, like what I usually get. Then I'll like I'll cut it, just so it grows back with my hair. I'll just like cut it down. I want to see it. What? All of it off. Oh, you haven't? You haven't seen it? I literally did it like three weeks ago too. Cause I, I used well, I know it. you did it with your head. Well, I guess. No, I did it with my head. Oh, actually, I think I did it with that too. Maybe. I think once I cut my head, I did it with my beard too. I forget though. Well, yeah, I'll do it again at some point. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> I want to see. Just like I don't usually like doing it when I don't have a fresh haircut because then it's like, it's like long here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's gotta be. Oh. So like now it goes right in. So usually I wait until I cut my hair low and then I cut my beard that right off and then it grows back at the same time. But yeah, that was probably the difference you saw. Probably. You're the same. <laughs> yeah. I'm the same. Yeah, yeah, I just remember you was like I didn't see you once not smiling. Like the whole thing, the whole time. <laughs> and like, and you had like your nose scrunched up the whole time. <laughs> you thought it was cute. That's all I remember. Yeah. Your hair was like straight, right? Mm mm. Was it? What was it? Curled. Oh okay, yeah. Curled in. Well, I guess more straight because I, I leave it like my natural wavy, crazy hair now. Right. It wasn't even close to that. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I see what you mean. I remember being down, and your dress being like flowy. Shimmery, shimmery, skin tight. Shimmery, yeah. I guess my sleeves are fully. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's what it was. Oh, yes. Big ass Droopy. heels. Yeah, okay, yes. Big ass heels. I'm bad. <laughs> Didn't remember your name at all. Could not get your name. Didn't remember anyone's name. Not one. Where were you sitting on the couch? You were here? It was me and Ty. Oh yeah, I were you on? The, Ty was on the end. Ty, I think I was on the end. You were on the end. I was on the end. You Ty, Ty Row? No, Row was in the middle. No, because Row was beside me. I touched his leg, and Tara was on the side of me. You sure? I just remember that when Row was chosen, maybe they moved together then when they got down because he was like chosen like fourth last. So did they like move together in the middle maybe? Because I remember when he got up, he was like in the middle of the couch. No, they were moving. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense, yeah. So it would have been me, Ty, Ro, you, Tara? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because Tara so had her back me the whole time. So What? Because Tara had her back to me the whole time. Oh. Weird. And then Ro was, yes, and Ro was talking to you two. And yeah. I was like, oh. And I remember being like, I have, like, no one is talking to no me. No one's talking to you? <laughs> oh, shit. And it's, like, awkward, you know what I mean? Yeah, you get up and move. I perfectly remember it. That's so funny. <laughs> So funny when you grab Rose's leg. Oh, it's gonna be that kind of season. All right. <laughs> what did you grab his leg for again? I think we, someone made a joke and I was like, <laughs> um, like the classic. Oh, like the classic Beth. That's when I thought I had you too, honestly. You gotta watch it with that. I guess I yeah, do. I, I remember before we even started flirting, you would always grab me and I'd be like, Oh, that is flirting. I was like, Wow. I regret this. Yeah, you'd always do that and I'd be like, Wow. She's down. <laughs> and I see you doing it with everyone. I was like, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. That's hilarious. I know, me and Ty were talking about him and me yesterday. Oh, really? Just laughing. He's like, I just can't. He's like, it's going to be so funny how you just climb into Jed's bed. I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the switch up. Was that day 20? It was, because it was... Right when Keith won, right? It was day 20. Oh. Yeah. Maybe no today to H. Ty went to his bed and then you were to Because we were so mad at yeah, everybody. Yeah. And me and Ty were like, fuck it. Let's, we're moving over. <laughs> me and you were buds then, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't weird. That was a month ago. 
Three days on the dot. Thirty days. I've been sleeping in, in a bed with you straight. Literally thirty days in a row. Not one time. Not one day off. Not one day off. Wow. That's crazy. And I still get excited. I know. <laughs> Every day I'm just like, good night, house guest. Run. You're so cute. It's funny that Tara would think that you would take advantage of me like me. Nope. <laughs> Same thing with me. Of course she thinks that. She has no idea what's going on with me. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, yeah. She probably thinks I'm closer to Brayden. Oh, absolutely. I think she does. She also was like so clueless all the time, Brayden. She was like, oh, I think, I think they're like this. They're tired of you guys. And I was like. It's just what she sees. It's insane. Hmm. Why don't you just sit? all day us and stare at things I like know. everybody literally all right let's think of some more questions you go first okay Have you ever gone to a psychic or a palm reader? Mm, I have not. Never? No. Do you want to? Mm, not necessarily that, but my mom goes to a median all the time. Mm -hmm. Medium. I would do that because... To talk to who? Uh, her parents. Mm. Like my grandparents, yeah. And who would you try to talk to? Um, Probably them as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all the like whenever she talks to them, it's always like about us. Yeah. So she went to them like pretty soon before I left. And um, apparently they were like, Jed has like big things coming his way and like change of career, like all this crazy shit, like all this like cool stuff. So I was like, holy. And I was like, right before I found out I was coming here. Yeah. So I was like, wow, that's kind of nuts. <laughs> and this is like a full time job. Yeah, pretty much. So <clears throat> I actually do believe in that stuff because like, some of the stuff this girl was saying to my mom, my mom's like, no, whatever, know that. Like the stuff that she was saying about my wow. gra my grandma and like things that she would tell her. She told her that like every time you see like a bunny rabbit, it's it's my grandma. And whenever you find like a dime, like it's my grandma. And my mom finds dimes like all the time, like literally. And like I like we always see rabbits like everywhere now. It's insane. <laughs> does it make you feel good? Yeah, it does. Every time I see. And my mom keeps them. Like, she finds dimes, she always keeps them. She has a good thing of them. Hmm. It's crazy. I've <laughs> never really even thought about doing that. Really? Yeah, you should look into it. It's cool. It really is. It's cool. My mom's, like, really into that, like, really into spiritual spirituality. Yeah? Yeah. And, like, I went to... She also goes to, like, um... You, do you know what an osteopath is? No. So it's... This is, is actually funny because this is... An osteopath is pretty much like a manual, um, a manual practitioner. So like, they, it's like a, it's a form of natural healing. So it's like non-invasive, but it's it's like they they try to heal you. Like it's like a holistic approach to to medicine, pretty much. I thought so, it was like a natural path or something. 
Um, it's similar, but like okay. it's more like physio manipulations. Oh, okay. So they actually like touch and like they know they have to know like all like the physio Cairo kind of stuff, but they don't like do anything crazy. Like they don't like crack you or anything like that, but they just do manipulations to certain parts of your body that help other parts of your body. You know what I mean? So just looking at the body is like a holistic thing, and um, and yeah, so that was actually the school that I was going to an open house for when I got in my car accident. So that, yeah, so that was like, that was pretty crazy. Okay. Um, that was a side note, but anyways, my mom goes to an osteo all the time, and this one does like, she's like an osteopath, but she also is like a, she's like a spiritual like healer as well. So when you go, I, I went to one, I went to her, and she does like all these manipulate, like she just like does manipulations. She like, she does stuff with like chakras. Yeah. And, and the, the, like crystals. Okay. So she does like crystals and chakras. She clears your chakras. Like she, it's crazy. Like the way she speaks, like she speaks like a different language. And it's just like this white woman. And she's just like, she's like speaking this different language. And she'll like, she'll be like o over your body, like going like this. Like unpacking your chakras. Like that's what she's doing. She's like wiping, like she's clearing them. And okay. It, it's crazy. And then she started to like, she started to ask me things that like I would only know, which was weird. Cause she was just like, because at this time, when I went to her, I was still kind of, like, upset because I had just gotten out of a relationship and everything. And this was, like, the second relationship I got out of, which, I, which at that point I felt like was, like, a void filler for my first one, like, the long-term yeah. one. And I always thought that in my head. And she would just, like, just ask me these questions that only, uh, like, things that I was feeling but I never wanted to admit. She's just, like, she's, like, oh, like, do you feel like there's something, like, weighing on your heart? Like, she's, like, there's something, like, in the way, like, something... Like something isn't right like you know what i mean like she's just ta talking me through all this stuff and i was just like and i didn't want to admit it like she like, yeah because it was my first time and she's like is there something like is there something that's weighing on you like and i was like no like <laughs> no, i didn't know what to say i was like Fuck. but yeah like no. she knew like she was asking like questions that were making me really think about it and i was like whoa and she's like she's like there's something there's like something that you haven't gotten closure on like there's there's something that you haven't there's like a, an opening that you haven't closed like you haven't tied off at an end of something, you know what I mean? Yes. And I was like, holy shit. It's like, yes, you're right. Like, <laughs> in my head. And then, yeah, so she was, like, clearing the stuff. And then she's talking to me about, like, my, like, like my, um, pretty much, like, my spirit being, like, my spirit animal, kind of. And she was, like, describing it. It was, like, a, it was, like, a warrior with, like, certain colors, like, shield and sword. Like, was, like this is the kind of person that's, like, protecting you. And it was, it was wild. Holy. Yeah, it was, it was a crazy experience. You would do it again. Yeah, I would. When was this? Oh, this one was, I think I went to her in 2019. Oh, so pretty recent. Yeah, 2019-ish. Yeah, definitely was 2019. And I was supposed to go back, but I just, like, I, I got too busy, but I never did. But I want to, I would go back. She's, like, really good. Who told you to do that? My mom. She goes to her all the time. She knows her personally. She goes to her. And she's just like, Jed, you need to do this. Like, especially after that relationship, it was, like, pretty toxic. And your mom knew that you were struggling? Mom, my mom's like, yeah, you need to, like, clear yourself. Never convert. No? No, I wouldn't convert. But I would figure out how we would raise our kids together. I wouldn't be like, no, no. Hmm, fair. I wouldn't convert. I'm already in mm. I just ask, because one, one of my friends, like, started dating a girl. He's been dating her for years now, and he converted to Judaism. For yeah. Her, for her, yeah. I think it's different if you don't really care. Mm -hmm. Like, from where yeah, like at. it wasn't really like that religious before, so right. I don't, know, like, yeah, I don't think it matters. Yeah, I don't think it matters to him. No, like if you're like super Catholic or super Christian, then I can see. Yeah, Yo. your beer. You've been there for a minute. Oh, you know, me, superpowers. Oh yeah, yeah. Get the frick out of here. Fair enough. No, I couldn't. Where's and then everybody? it wouldn't be real. I think like HOH. Locked in the HOH room in five minutes. Five. Minutes. five. Oh shit. All right. I think it's time to go. I think it's about the. In there now. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch out. It's a paradise. And it's a war. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't usually do this before a POV. What's going on here? Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Where did the lotion go? It's in the bender. The good one? Oh yeah. The good one? Yeah. Oh. I don't know if it is somebody's or something. Mm. I always thought it was Ty's, but... I got that green one. Oh yes. Okay, okay. Different. Are you laughing? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Assume the position. Oh my gosh, I love your nips. Huh? I love the nips. Okay. The nips. I always spray the nips. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where were we? So you wouldn't convert for a guy. Oh, that's where we were. Yeah. No. Never. No. Why would that? Why would I do that? I don't know. What would that mean? Sometimes families. You can't get married in their church unless you're that part of that religion. Yeah. So if his family was very strict. Yeah. And so it just wouldn't be for you? No. Jeez. Okay. No. Because I come from that kind of family. True. 
Like my dad would be like, "What are you talking about? What are you What are you talking about? Like he wouldn't get it. Mm. Why? What do you mean?" <laughs> and then like, what do I believe in? Yeah. It's actually kind of I don't know. It would be ideal to be with someone who believes in the same thing as me because mm. it makes it so much stronger. Mm. Like talking about it or like doing things together with it, like it's mm-hmm. so real. I think it's real as it fucking gets. Yeah, that is real. Sorry. <clears throat> Would you? Um. I honestly don't like. I don't think so. Especially if it was like a drastic change. Like, if it was like me going to like. I think it matters enough to me that I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Um. Plus, I've done everything. Like, I've done everything to become. Like what I like, how I am. You know what I mean? Like I've taken all the steps. Yeah, exactly. Me baptized, too. first communion, first confession, confirmation, like all that yeah. stuff. So, um, yeah. I like how you grew up. Yeah, honestly, I have no complaints. Really, like it was. It's how I would probably how I would want to raise my kids. I'd just probably be a bit more. I would, I would stress the openness of our communication with my kids, you know what I mean? Like, when, I'm, when they're teenagers. Like, I'd be like, listen, man, I know you're going to party. Yeah, let's just talk let, about just it. Just tell me. Yeah, let's talk about like, it. I'm not going to be, like, I'll buy you stuff if you need it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be that. Tell me where you are. Exactly. That's all I want to know. I don't want my kids to sneak around. No, I agree with you. <clears throat> um... Did you move to a different country for a guy? Country? Mm. Like, say you're two, two situations. Either you meet a guy who fall in love instantly, and he lives in Italy. Or you are with a guy, and he gets, like, his job relocated to, like, Spain. <laughs> I think the second one, yes. Mm-hmm. Well, you never know with kids. You don't have kids, though. You don't have kids? No, you don't have kids in this situation. But you're, like, living together, and then he gets, like, a big up, big promotion, but he has to move to Europe. I think I would. You're going? Yeah. Jeez. It's pretty hard, but I think, like, I mean, obviously, if he's, like, the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If he's, like, the one I'm going to marry. Yeah. Yeah, you got, I got you. Yeah. Gotta be a team. Yeah. Can't hold you back. But if I met someone and they live somewhere else, it would be like, I'd have to really think about that. Mm, that'd be tough. Really think about it. But yeah, I'd relocate with somebody I was with for a long time. It'd be hard. Yeah, it'd be very hard. But let's fucking do it. <laughs> and like the way that I see it is like, like I have my family now. They are the actual best, but when you like find a husband, like they're your new family. Yeah. You really have to like give your all to those. To prioritize people. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, hundred percent. I feel that. Same answer. Yeah, literally same answer. If I just met somebody and I thought that they were great and, like, thought there, uh, there could be potential there, but they lived across the world or something like that, it would be very hard for me. Yeah, no. It's a decision. big thing. Like, you really do have to love somebody yeah. to do that, I think. Exactly. Like, if it doesn't work out, like, that would suck. But if you've been with somebody for, like, a couple of years and, like, they get a big thing and you see yourself with them for a long term, I would try it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
I just got excited thinking what you told me to stampede. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's just, so it's, it's good because that's just something I've generally wanted to do. Oh yeah, like Anyways, it's the real deal. Like, like when I lived in Vancouver, everyone always talked about the stampede. And I was like, fuck. I mean, hell. if it's exactly the same as it once was, I mean, it won't be, but. Yeah, if it's like similar at all, <laughs> it'd be great, eh? Do you just like, where do you sleep in between? At home? Or oh, you, yeah. Oh, home. you do? Yeah. Where do you do, though? Because you're in Cal you don't live in Calgary. Um, well, it didn't happen this year, so that was the first time. So, what would you do? Away. Would you like, say like a hotel or something? Or? I'd get an Airbnb, Airbnb I think. Yeah. You just have to book it so early. Oh, yeah. Because then you can cook and stuff still. And yeah. True. That would be so fun. Oh my gosh, it'd be so much fun. Kyle. Kyle, stay at Kyle's. That would be so fun. Yeah. Fucking so spicy. if it does happen and you do come, we will all just get a place. Spicy V? Yeah. She would come. <laughs> she, she will would come. come. <laughs> so then I'm gonna my message to her. Get the stampede. Oh yeah. <laughs> Introduce you to all my friends. He's so pumped. Oh shit. This is Judd. This is Judd from season nine. <laughs> Smooching you the entire time. Oh shit. That'll be really fun. Would you prefer a all all inclusive trip to a resort or a roughing it backpacking trip? <laughs> which one would you want to do? Both. I like both. I know, but which one would you like if you had to choose one? Because you know how some people are like, I like I hate people are like, oh, I hate going somewhere just to like be on a resort. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean. Uh, I do I, love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't even lie. <laughs> so I love doing that stuff. But then they're like, yeah, like, what's the point? Like, you'd rather, I'd rather just, like, go rough it in the bush, kind of. That, too, though. I love that. That'd be fun, too. But I would want to do it with somebody who knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't know, we figure it out together. Like, yeah. it'd have to be like some, or I mean, like, with somebody who wants to do it just as much. Exactly. And want dragging someone along. Exactly. Yeah, you got to have an optimistic person in that situation. <laughs> Someone that's down to do anything, really. Down to try stuff. Go with the flow. Oh, I love both of those things. Like, your story about, like, camping out. Oh, yeah. I love that. I'm quite jealous of it. Yeah. Yeah, it was freezing cold, but it was, it was good. I can't remember the name of it now. Why can't I not remember? You did at first. Right, I knew it right away. Yeah. Fuck. I was like, ooh, he's kind of cool. Yeah. Was it? I feel like it was Jericho. No? Is that a thing? It starts with a J. Jericho Lake? No? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like it's just because... I Keith's, feel like that's not it, though. Is, I feel like it's because Keith's girl's name's Jericho. Maybe that's why it's tripping us out. I know. It was like something lake. It was lake something. We'll G that after. I honestly think it might be Jericho. It might be. <laughs> like I, I think like it's just Keith that's I think it's throwing out. me out, that throwing me off that I think. I think I'm just like getting confused with his girl's name, but I actually think it was Jericho. That was fun though. I love that story. Yeah, that was fun, but it's crazy. Pack, pack different the next time. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. to do that stuff with like a group like a ran group mm. yeah we lived in columbia for five days and it was like you know and so organized and 
It, it was good? So was it with randoms? Uh, yeah, well, me and the girl that I went on the trip with. Mm -hmm. And then you just sign up. I think there was like 15 other people, if that. From Shanna? Huh? Shanna? No, 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 no. Mm. This girl's name's Nicole. Mm. Um, and then like, yeah, they just lead you through the jungle. It was crazy. <laughs> All day. What did you see? You see any cool animals? Uh, nothing, no, not cool animals. There was like boars and shit. Yeah. But you just find like people living in the middle of the jungle, like living and they're like scared of you. It's it was the and craziest part, like chill? little kids. Yeah, and they're like, some of them are so happy and they like run to you and like give you weird stuff. And then other people were like spooked and they like run away. Oh my gosh. It was crazy. It was like days, just two days that like you go to this like crazy spiritual place. And then you two sleep? days back. So you sleep on the way? You sleep on the way. Ah, the tent? Um, sometimes and then other times they had like actual just like little shelters and then they would give you like just shitty little cots. Oh my you lay out and nets. It was like the craziest bugs. Oh my gosh. And then like you just hop in the river and rinse. You just go to the bathroom. Yeah, and in anywhere. Woods. Anywhere. Wow. You had to pack it all. It was one of the craziest things ever, but it was so much fun. Four days straight, like we didn't stop. And like our sleeps were only six hours. Like it was crazy. Okay, that's that's crazy. It was so much fun. I wonder if it'd be able like to The slow. mud sometimes was like this. And then other times, like the water, like you go through water, and like everybody would be holding hands because like a river. Yeah. It was so fucked now that I'm talking about it. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> that's fucked. That's really rough. It wasn't planned. Like we were just like there and like we're in a hostel and somebody just said that they're doing this tomorrow and we're like, what? what? Let's fucking do it. Oh my gosh. So you just leave all your stuff at the hostel? Or? Yeah, we like left our big bags yeah. and we just brought like little smaller ones. Wow. Water and toilet paper. And That's stuff. cool. That was cool. Hmm. And you finally get back and just like pounded a beer. Like it was yeah. crazy. And we all were like so happy to be back. Can you do it? Can you take down the Titan? You deserve to be here because it's hard work. You deserve to be here because it's hard work. Yade, work a. Hey, Shade. Hey, Shade. Hey, Shade. Is T still in there? Not the man. I'm fucking. I'm going crazy in here. <laughs> I know, man. We're just, He's a weird one. We're just saying how we just like sit places and stare at things randomly for hours. It's brutal. It's actually brutal. I don't even think, is he in there? For Sean? No. no. He's in the NSPD? No. I think he's in there. I heard voices in there, but. Oh no, I bet you we went to all, the H.O.H. and didn't come out when we were all called in there. No, he's not in there he's either. He's not in there. Oh. He's in here. I heard voices in there and here. Oh, see? Someone in there. You heard him? But I also think it could be bananas. Yeah, I know. I think it might be bananas. Are you saying his days or something? I don't know. A waiting these days. I'm not a huge fan. It's all we're doing. It's all we're gonna do from here on out. Oh my god. Especially when the backyard's closed. Like, holy. 
I know. And judging by the sounds of it, we might not get it tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously. I know. Seriously. Unless they're up all night. Picking it up. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah, they woke me up this morning. Yeah, oh, me too. That's yeah. what I was telling Beth. Oh, really? Yeah, there was like I something. You? you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought think. you were working out or something. No, I th I thought it was oh, here. That's what you were yeah, about? I I came out and looked. Me too. We probably just missed each other. Yeah. It's like what the. I literally fuck? thought it was in the kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> I that's like, what I thought. Banging pots. I, I literally it. thought that. It's hilarious. Literally thought that. Let me be honest. Beacon condos. Oh. Oh. I just noticed that all these de all these details are like condos. <laughs> That's probably where the condos came from. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Be yeah. Beacon condos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. I thought you were going for it. Don't do it. I'm weirdly relaxed right now, so maybe. Oh. Shh. And I have the wolves on. Shh. Shh. Oh, I hate it. It doesn't feel good in any way. Stop. It hurts. <laughs> I don't think they crack. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you're fine. Okay. Thank you. Wow, what a big moment. <laughs> you were here for it. You yeah. were here every step of the way. That That's, was it. That was That's it. crazy. That was all, all the height. No, it hurts. Like, that didn't feel good in any way. Let me try this one. I think it'll be different. I think it'll be different. Wait, wait. <clears throat> it's gonna be different. Ow! Ouch, Charlie. <laughs> 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 oh, it doesn't feel good at all. Oh, Charlie, you bit me. Charlie bit me. <laughs> My finger. And that really hurt, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, these next 28 days. <laughs> are gonna be spooked. No matter what happens. Imagine when it's just fucking... Yeah, no matter what happens. Holy shit. Either way, yeah. We're just here no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're in it. We're in it. 20 days. We did 50. Holy fuck. But with people. Huh. <sighs> POV competition today. They're saying this is the biggest POV of the season. Who? Era? No, everybody. Because oh. <laughs> every next competition is the biggest one. Oh. Uh, you know what I mean? The next oh, HOH is the biggest. Yeah. That's the most important HOH. Mm -hmm. that's, that, how, that's how it will be from now on. This is the biggest. No, this is the biggest. No, this is the biggest. Oh, this is the biggest. We have also been saying that all season. The I next know. HOH is huge. I know. We say that every time. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. It is huge, huge, huge. Huge. Ty! He's in the DR. He went in just as we got called. Oh, oh, that was so long ago, then. Yeah, I feel like he was in there for a minute. <clears throat> Hope he's good.
come up all night to get lucky. The ball pip's closed for the season. <laughs> I think they're gonna do another comp for the ball pit room, but instead of a tiny bed, it's gonna be like a king size <laughs> suite. Nice. So it's actually like a. That'd be jokes. So like this, everyone like tries to not lose, but then it's something sick. Yeah. <laughs> Did Ty only get to sleep in there for two nights? Three. Three nights? Three, yeah, three including nights. Including the malfunction night? Yeah. Because it was a Sunday, I think, yeah. It was a Sunday. Ow. I'm sorry. I feel like I had <laughs> like to. For what? You were dirty. For what move? I don't know. She's like, wait. <laughs> I wanted to make you feel pain. Oh I wanted to make you hurt. Then he scratched it. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a Sunday, and then that was a f malfunction. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he slept in there. Got some salmon. <laughs> salmon on the Wednesday. So salmon on a Wednesday. <laughs> salmon on a Wednesday. What have I become? What is this from? Goes away in the garden. You can have it all. Hmm? So it's a sad music video. Mm -hmm. What is it? He's pretty much saying that like, June died. He's what? Saying to his wife who passed away. But then like ever, it's like the end of his career. He's just an like old in guy. this dark room. Yeah. He's old. That's her, he's playing right? the piano. Yeah. It's her, right? Yeah. Is that Johnny? Yeah, but it's an originally uh, a different band song. They get, um, but they said Johnny owns that song now. Oh. Yeah. oh what's the band? It's like Nine Inch Nails. Oh, okay, I was gonna say Pearl Jam. Yeah, I think it is. It is. He's old. That's dark. In that vid. Yeah, I know. I actually remember that vid now. He's like sitting, Ding, yeah. He yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's old. Oh, he's old. Say, so call him so then he doesn't look my way.